a cross section of a coiled leaf from a water lily plant. This plant has floating leaves that uncoil to form a flat structure on the surface of the water. In this image, the plant cells can be seen as rectangular shapes inside the leaf. They contain chlorophyll, the green pigment used to convert sunlight into energy during photosynthesis. This is a non-biting mage, which is just a few millimeters long. One of their common names, dancing flies, is illuminating since the males gather into great swarms and perform an undulating mating dance. While walking or biking, one can easily run into one of these clouds and although the flies do not bite, people with allergies can get a sneezing attack or a rash on their skin. These symptoms are triggered by a pigment of the larva which is still present in the adult flies. They fly into the mating cloud, copulate, lay their eggs in water and then die. The females live only a couple of days. These are spores of fungus that causes athlete's foot on the skin of a human foot. The fungus usually grows between the toes but many spread to the bottom and sides of the foot. The spores can lie dormant for long periods until conditions are favorable for germination. Treatment involves keeping the infected area dry and using an antifungal powder. A close-up of a buttercup flower. In this image, the pistil can be seen in orange which is surrounded by the stamens in purple. The pistil is the female reproductive structure of the flower that consists of the ovary, the style and the stigma. The stamen is the male reproductive structure composed of a filament and an anther. The anthers produce pollen grains, each containing a male reproductive cell or gamete. Pollen is then transferred to the pistils of another buttercup plant, fertilizing it and initiating seed production. Book lungs of an orb weaver spider. Book lung is a form of respiratory organ found in certain air-breathing arachnid arthropods like scorpions and some spiders. Each book lung consists of a series of thin plates that are highly vascular and are arranged in relation to each other like the pages of a book. These plates extend into an internal pouch formed by the external skeleton that opens to the exterior by a small slit. This provides an extensive surface for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide with the surrounding air. There are four pairs in scorpions and up to two in spiders. A Black Salt Mars Mosquito These mosquitoes live and breed in mostly salt marshes in coastal areas and occasionally in nearby freshwater pools. The adult female mosquito lays her eggs on the damp soil with spike grass or salt meadow hay. When the tides are high, these areas flood and the eggs hatch into larvae. The adult is a strong flyer and often migrates in large numbers to communities where they become serious pests, even many miles from the saltwater marshes. They are severe biters of humans, birds and livestock along the southern coasts from North Carolina to Florida and in the Caribbean. They can also transmit dog heartworms, Venezuelan equine encephalitis and West Nile virus. These are water repellent hairs found on the leaves of water fern. Each hair approximately a millimeter in length is designed to trap a thin layer of air between the leaf and the surrounding water, thus increasing the plant's buoyancy and stability. This aquatic plant is considered an invasive pest owing to its ability to grow quickly into thick mats up to two feet deep that essentially extinguishes all life in the depths beneath them. This image shows a sebum, a natural oily substance produced by a sebaceous gland attached to the hair follicle. The sebum can be seen at the base of hair in yellow color on the surface of the skin. Acne is a skin condition that occurs when dead skin cells and sebum clog hair follicles. This is a micropillar compression test on a micropillar built from a multi-layer stack of different coatings. These tests are done in order to precisely quantify various mechanical properties of materials on the micro scale. Acetobacter is a genus of bacteria which oxidizes ethyl alcohol to acetic acid. Acetobacter is used in the manufacture of vinegar, grown as a film on the surface of beer wort, pickle brine and fruit juices, when they are commonly known as mother of vinegar.
shown here are scent cells on a rose petal. The scent of a flower is produced by aromatic oils produced by cells on the petals. A zebra long wing butterfly egg. The orange color of the egg serves as a warning to predators as the egg contains cyanide and other toxins. These are retroreflective beads on a fabric. Retroreflection ensures better visibility in dark, twilight or other low light conditions and very little light is lost due to lateral scattering. A layer of micro-sized glass beads seen here in green mounted on a layer of material is used to obtain retroreflection. Retroreflection means that most rays of light striking a retroreflective surface bounce back in the direction they came from. Surface density and size distribution of the glass beads are critical to retroreflection. The diameter of these glass beads is typically about 50 micrometers and specific patterns can produce reflective logos. Malaysian Orchid Mantis This mantis is found in the rainforests of Southeast Asia and the Indo-Australian archipelago. They have a color and body plan designed to blend them in with the flowers they typically live on. Although a carnivore and an impressive predator, this mantis is completely harmless to humans and a beneficial species in that it eats many harmful insects including the gypsy moth caterpillar, many aphids, flies, mites, grasshoppers, etc. Also when an individual comes upon another mantis, it will show cannibalistic behavior. Instant mashed potato flakes showing flattened starch granules which are the major component of the flakes. These are growing copper sulfate crystals. Seen here are flu or influenza virus particles on red blood cells. Flu usually causes a lethargy, aching muscles, fever and nausea. Some strains however develop into far more serious forms and epidemics in the past have killed millions. A bee's antenna is packed with thousands of sensory cells. Bees use their antenna to smell, taste and hear as well as to detect changes in temperature, wind and humidity. These sense organs not only help the bee steer through the outside world, they also help it navigate the social world of the hive. Bees communicate in large part through chemical pheromones, with different odors signaling everything from an alarm to an individual bee's status. Pollen grains of a Venus flytrap Pollen grains containing the male sex cells are reproductive structures produced by the male parts of flowering plants. The structure shown here is the hard outer casing called exine that protects the gametes during transit between flowers. This is a broken eyelash hair. As we can see, the hair in purple is growing from a follicle in the underlying layer of skin surrounding the eye. The portion of the hair protruding from the skin is made up of dead tissue and the protein keratin. Eyelashes protect the eye from debris. They are sensitive to being touched, thus providing a warning that an object is near the eye, which is then closed reflexively. Gyrodactylus solaris are small aquatic parasites that live mainly on the skin and fins of freshwater fish, especially Atlantic salmon. They feed on mucus and epithelial cells and can move freely on the host. They are the only parasitic worms that reproduce in situ on their host and give birth to live young nearly as big as themselves. In the meantime, a further generation is already growing inside the neonates. Large numbers of parasites therefore build up very rapidly. These are rows of solder bumps on a substrate. Solder is a metal alloy that is melted to join metallic surfaces. The process is known as soldering. The type of alloy used depends on the metals that are to be joined. Alloys with low melting temperatures are known as soft solders and those with high melting temperatures are known as hard solders. This image shows the boundary between the yellow dentin, which is mineralized connective tissue found under a tooth enamel and the pulp. The pulp, which is the soft tissue containing nerves and blood vessels that make up the inner part of a tooth has been removed to reveal the dental tubules or canaliculi. 
These tubules are minute holes in the dentin that have been formed by the cytoplasmic extensions shown in pink of odontoblast cells or dentin producing cells. The odontoblast cells originate in the pulp and allow the dentin to rebuild itself unlike in ML. This is a hoverfly. Respiratory syncytial virus in cultured human lung epithelial A549 cells. RSV is a pneumovirus, a type of paramyxovirus. It is a major cause of respiratory tract infections in humans and is the most common cause of bronchiolitis and pneumonia among infants. The cross section of a leaf of the Helleborus niger, commonly known as Christmas rose. This rose is actually a member of the buttercup family and it flowers between December and March. The flower is saucer shaped with five white petals. It has golden yellow anthers at center which contain the pollen. Around the anthers are the tubular nectaries in green which produce nectar to attract pollinating insects. Fractured surface of a piece of cheddar cheese. Also seen are small yeast cells contaminating this piece of cheese. Cheddar cheese is a hard cheese prepared from cow's milk by a process called cheddaring, a method originally from cheddar in Somerset, England. A wolf spider showing its eyes and large mandibles. The surface of a Cape Sundew seed. This carnivorous plant comes from the Cape region of South Africa and thrives in bogs, marshes and wet grassland. In the spring, it grows a long leafless stalk which produces pretty five petal pink flowers which open one by one up to the tip of the stalk. Unlike the British species, it is not dormant during the winter. Sundews secrete a sticky substance on the trichomes or hairs on their leaves. And an insect is lured onto the dew-like liquid and when it struggles, more sticky hairs will touch its body and it will become more entrapped. The leaf curls around the insect and slowly the plant's digestive enzymes will break down the soft parts of the insect's body. The leaf will then uncurl and the husk of the insect will be blown away. These are bristles on a toothbrush. 